Okay, so the last couple of videos having to do with this um, this uh, points project have been uh, to kind of give you a, a, an overview, a taste of things to come um, if you're interested in OpenGL, but also kind of to give you a sense of the things you can kind of ignore, right? So you won't need to, for this assignment, um, that I'm gonna that I'm giving you won't need to um, open up glwindow.cp uh, cpp or main.cpp or any of the .h files. You really just need to open up example. The only one we're gonna change is this example.cpp. And what I did was, um, if you haven't used this find and replace uh, before, uh, you just hold down the control key and press F and this little box will pop up and um, if you just type in students all caps in here, uh, and you go to find next you'll find all the um, pieces that you'll need to fill in so basically what um, the assignment is is to um, just to refresh the, the, the skeleton version of this um, points exercise um, just draws um, a series of points uh, from small to large. It's taking a while to build here. Kind of a link. Okay. So this is the this is the way it works right now. I just draws a bunch of points from small to large. What our goal is, is to, uh, our, our goal is, let me press the F5 here, to just have a whole bunch of uh, points scattered randomly around the screen. And in fact, if you, uh, Play it, you know, run it more than once, you should have a different pattern each time. Okay. So, um, what do we need to do to make this happen? Well, okay, so the, well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use um, S RAND and RAND. So, so, so our first student's note right here says add include file for S RAND and RAND. And you've done that before uh, with, let's see, what was it? Oh, with the guess my number example you used. So remember you needed um, uh, in, uh, include files for srand and rand and then for time um, so that you can see the um, random number generator. So we did that. Um, right, so that's the include files that we need. So the include files for srand and rand, the include files for time so that you can use it. Okay. That's the next thing. And then if we go down to the next students, I'm just pressing find next every time to get to my students. It says seed a random number generator. So go back and look at guess my number and see how you seed a random number generator. And then if we say find next, we want to change this loop so that it creates 15 random vertices. And, and we're going to give it a particular range. I'm, I'm putting in a range here just to make sure that They'll all fit on, on the screen. So we want X to be between minus 2 and 2. We want Y to be minus, between minus 3 and 3. And we want Z to, between, to be between um, minus 6 and minus 2. OK? Um, and so you're going to have to change the form of this loop a little bit. Um, it probably, you know, the simple, most straightforward thing would just be to do something like, uh, you know, um, if we want 15 um, vertices, you know, just uh, something, like, something like this, right? And then do our, our loop inside there. Um, and so these, so I'll leave that up to you. So instead of, you know, instead of this kind of loop. Um, and then you've, we've seen this form, format before, this M vertices business. Um, 
Where have we seen that? Uh, well, like in Heroes Inventory, we saw, yeah, pushback is used to load up a, a vector, right? So, um, this M vertices makes up a vector, right? Is there anything else? Yeah, that and that's it. Because then once you've once you've loaded up the um, array with with these random uh, vertices, these random you know x y z values, then um, when you uh, uh, show everything, then then it'll uh, it'll come up with the the random points the way that uh, the way that I just showed you. Where was it? Okay, so once you've once you've solved it, you'll know that you you've solved it if you uh, get the uh, if you get the scattered pattern. Okay, but so the first step really though the first thing you want to do is make sure that you get that the skeleton runs correctly. Okay, so you might need to go back over the video that showed you know how to go through the properties and make sure your properties are all set up. So make sure that works first, and then just go through all the students' um, bits step by step, and um, and get those to work, and uh, then that'll be cool. So I, again, you know, I I wanted to throw this in just to see. I thought it might be fun for you guys, but let me know if you like it. If you want me to throw in more uh, little examples like this, and I think as you you know get, get further into the course more of this stuff like you know how classes work and and you know the the pointer stuff and everything well I will you know make more and more sense as we go but but again if you if you enjoy doing this uh let me know and I'll I'll throw in some more um or even if just some of you like it I might just throw them in as as bonus exercises all right so I I hope you enjoy this this uh this one and uh, uh good luck with it